Time to get started. Everybody take a nice seat, comfortable seat. Wiggle your hip on your, on the ground or wherever you're sitting, on the mat or on the block, wherever. So take a few breaths here, close your eyes. And when you're ready, bring your hands to the heart. Let's open our practice with one vibrational sound. So everyone breathe in. Today's practice is a forward bend. No, sorry, back bend. So you guys can set your own intention, whatever it is. Maybe you need more energy, maybe you need more strength, something that connects to yourself. So set an intention and bring the intention with you on the practice. In the practice, on the mat, but on in the practice. And our theme will be back bend. So I discuss, I will discuss what back bend does it later on after our meditation. Release softly your hands on your knees. Bring your hips forward and lift. Sit nice and tall. Breathe in. Bring your awareness to your breath. When you inhale, the belly rise. When you exhale, belly hugging to your spine. Take a few breaths and then connect yourself within you. When you take another inhalation, take a deep inhalation. Find your length in that inhalation. And when you exhale, exhale slow, steady, and relax yourself. Deep breath in, feeling your belly, the rib cage, chest widen, collarbone open. When you exhale, relax the shoulders. Take a few breaths. Be present with your breath in and out. Empty your mind. Let the thought pass through you. Take another breath to the crown of the head. And when you exhale, wash off your face. When you take in another breath, open the shoulder, bring both shoulder blades together. Slow, steady exhale and exhale from your arm all the way to the fingertips. Take a deep inhalation. When you exhale, release from your fingertips. Be aware of your right side and left side of your body.
take a breath toward the hip joints. Open the hip. Slow, steady exhale from your hips to the thigh, kneecaps, shin, ankle, sole of a foot and toes. Take another breath toward the hip. Let it go from your toe. Observing or connecting to the right side and left side of your body. Come back to rhythmic breathing. Few inhale and exhale. Let's take a few cleansing breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and let it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale and let it go from the mouth. Bring both palms together. Rub them together, create the warm energy, and then slowly cup it on your eyes. Blink few times, let the warm energy pass through your eyes. Release your hand. One more time, rub them together. Place it on your back, on your spine and just massage your spine in the back and release now before we move i just wanted to give you what back bend does what the benefit of the back bend in the yoga asana it's lower your stress and anxiety improve the posture with your back bend the flexibility of your spine and mobility of your spine. Stretch out abdominal muscle. Increase the oxygen level. It gives more space to your diaphragm to breathe and help the back and the neck pain. So let's get started. Bring your hands to the heart to Anjali Mudra. And bring both hands all the way to the sky. Softer your elbow since it's your first lift up. Palm touching each other. Exhale, float your hands to the heart from your third eye, lips and heart. Inhale, open your hands, lift up all, palm touching each other. Lengthen a little more than before. Exhale and float your hands to the heart. Take another inhale, lift and breathe. Open, lift up, breathe up, look up, slide back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart and release your hand let's come to butterfly pose bring both feet together and shake it out now slowly let's sit on a hero pose so you both feet in the back sit on your heels sit nice and tall place your hand on your thighs and first connect yourself. If this is too hard, sit on something, either a block, if you have a block, or a blanket, or a pillow, and sit nice and tall. So place your hand on your thighs. Inhale and lift your cup. Lift up, breathe up. Exhale, send your chin to the chest and rounding your spine. Inhale, lift and breathe. Exhale, chin to the chest. One more time. Inhale, sweep your heart in front. Lift up, look up, breathe up. 
Exhale, chin to the chest. And slowly come back to center. And breathe. Let's sit in an easy posture. If your left leg was in front, bring your right leg in front. Place your hand behind, finger pointing toward you. Open the heart and breathe here. Inhale, lift up, breathe up, look up. Stay here for two cycles of breath. You're opening the heart, you're bringing both shoulder blades together, your bellies. When you inhale, it's belly is pushing out when you exhale belly contracting slowly come back to center <clears throat> let's take your right hand to the left knee left hand toward the back and twist nice inhale to lift up exhale look toward the back make sure your left ear is away from your left shoulder Take your right hand toward the sky, lift up, breathe up, stay as it is, and lean toward the right side. Feel the openness on the right side, left side. Inhale, slowly float your hands to the earth. And come to twist again one more time toward the left. Slowly bring your chin to the center. Unwind yourself in front. Take your left hand to the right knee, right hand toward the back. Twist it out. Breathe and twist. Make sure your hands are, uh, the right hand is closer to your right hand. Use as a candlestick to lift. Take your right hand to the sky now. Lift and breathe. Exhale and lean toward the left side. Feel the length. Either look up or look down, doesn't matter. Inhale, place your right hand to the back one more time and twist. Inhale, come back to center and release. Let's come to tabletop pose. Separate the knee, make distance apart. So wide knee. Bring big toe together as if you're coming in a child pose. We are going to come to six direction spine rotation. So inhale, take your right hand to the sky, lift and breathe. Exhale and release. Inhale, left hand to the sky and lift. Look toward the left side and release. Let's do two more set of that on your own with your breath. Remind yourself your intention. Bring your intention back. When you're done, come back to center. Send your hips back. Let's come to child pose. All 10 toes connected to the earth and bring your forehead to the earth and extend both hands in front of you. Stay here, close your eyes, scan your body. See how you're feeling at this moment. Now bring both hands together like Anjali Mudra and then place it back of your head and close your eyes. Remind yourself your intention and scan the body where do you feel the stretch. Is it a good stretch or it is hurtful stretch or it is tight? Just send the breath there to release that any tension, any tightness, let it go. Slowly release both hands in front of you. Inhale here. Walk both hands toward the right side. And maybe you want to place the right, left hand on the right, right hand. And feel the stretch on your left side. Inhale. 
Inhale and walk, your, walk both hands in front of you. And when you're ready, take both hands toward the left side. So you maybe place the right hand on the left, left hand. So right hand is on the top of your left. Slowly come back to center. Walk your hands towards you. Come to tabletop pose. Let me remind you, remind your alignment. Your wrist should be right under your shoulder. Your hips should be right above your knee and knee a hip distance apart. The back is flat. Let's do cat and cow. Inhale, curl your spine to the earth, lift your heart, lift your hips, lift your gaze. Exhale, chin to the chest, rounding out. Inhale, curl, lift and breathe. You can do two more sets of on your own with your breath. Just be careful, be kind to your body, listen to your body. And do what your what your need is at this time when you're done come back to center gaze in front flat back slowly walk your one foot at a time in front of the mat Maybe you want to lift your left knee, whichever knee is back, lift that and bring it in front. That might make it more easier. Hold opposite elbow and stay here. Release, relax, let go. Let the gravity pull you toward the earth. Your head is heavy. Blood flowing toward your crown of the head because it's the head is below the heart or you can release your hand and just dangle here yes. let the gravity do its work now slowly release both hands toward the earth and now take the right leg cross it to the left side and forward fold See if it is not easy, go against the wall to balance it out, otherwise stay right here. Make sure both feet are in the same line. Now slowly uncross your right foot. Take one cycle of breath before you cross the other foot. Now take your left leg to the right side and cross it off and close your eyes and see where you feel the stretch uncross your leg and when you're ready come up like a rag doll just take that word of prayer one at a time as you don't have a life like you just coming up, staking the vertebrae. When you come all the way up, lift your toes, roll your shoulders, connect all four corners of the feet to the earth. Close your eyes, either palm facing in front or to the side. Come to mountain pose. And just connect yourself the gravity, feel that connection to the earth. Bend your knees and come out. Now, inhale, circle your hand, lift up, breathe up. Now, for, you're going to fold your hand right above your head here. 
So it doesn't matter which hand, just make sure you remember which hand because we have to do both sides. So stay right here. And now slowly lean and take that uh, right elbow toward the sky and look up toward the sky. Feel that stretch. Look up, take two cycles of breath. And maybe you want to turn your face, turn your face toward the right side because if the right, right elbow is toward the higher point. Slowly come back to center. Release your hand in front of the shoulder level first. Let's inhale and take your hands all the way up. Let's change the hand position. Change that. If you did the other side, then come this way. Inhale, lift both hands. Lift that fold. And then slowly look up toward the left side and leaning toward the right side. And look toward the left side too. Feel that stretch. Just close your eyes and see where you feel that stretch. Slowly come back to center and release your hands. Circle your hands toward the heart, to the home. Inhale, lift both hands to the sky. Interlace your finger, palm facing to the sky. Lift your heels and stay here. Couple of breath here. If you fall, it's okay. Or go against the wall if you can. Keep breathing. Slowly release your heels to the earth. Release your head. Bring it toward the back of your, toward your hip. Interlace your finger. It's called Yoga Mudra. Bring both shoulder blades together. Inhale here. Exhale forward, fold from the hip. You can keep your hands near your hips if you have energy and if you can able to take both hands toward the sky, please do take the hands away from your hip. You can always soften your knee if you need it to. Slowly inhale, bend your knees and lift yourself up all the way and release. Let's come in front of the mat if you're not at the front. Inhale, circle your hand, lift and breathe. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, circle your hands, lift up. Exhale, bring your hands from third eye to the lips to the heart and forward, fold from your head. Release both hands next to your feet. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway, gaze in front. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your hand, lift up, breathe up, look up. Palm touching each other, slight back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's inhale, circle your hand, lift up, breathe up, slight back bend. Exhale, forward, fold from the hip crease. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, send both legs back. Let's come to Adho Mukha Asan or Downward Dog. Since it, this is our first Downward Dog, let's pedal your, pedal your legs, pedal your heels, walk the dog, walk yourself, jog yourself. Look in front of the mat and slowly walk both feet in front of the mat and forward fold. Inhale, circle your hand, lift and breathe. Slide back bend, exhale, hands to the heart. Let's inhale, circle your hand, lift and breathe. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway, gaze in front, exhale, fold. Send both legs back. Let's come to downward dog first. I wanted to do something else. We are going to do 
dolphin pose. So forearm to the earth and you're on the, or as if you're coming on a downward dog, but your forearm is on the earth and your head is on the earth. And if this is too difficult, you can come to tabletop pose or you can go against the wall here, stay against the wall, place forearm on the earth and bring your head to the earth, if that is possible. You can always bend your knee if you need to and stay there for three cycle of breath. This is called dolphin pose. <coughs> Slowly come up to push up to the plank pose or modify plank pose. Inhale here, push yourself, bring it in front of the mat and come down all the way to the, and release your belly to the earth. Bring both hands closer to your rib cage. Inhale, 10 toes touching the, touching the earth and lift up to cobra. Make sure your shoulders nice and relaxed and put some smile on your face. Make the practice enjoyable here. Keep breathing. Now slowly release that, release the hand. Let's come to crocodile pose. So fold your hands on each other. Bring your forehead to the earth. Toes out, heels in. Stay here first. Let your forehead touch the forearm. And when you're ready, lift yourself up and stay here for three back. And make sure your spine is long. It's not crunching. You're using your belly to lift yourself. You're using your shoulder to lift yourself, not your back. And stay right here. This is also a back bend. If you see that, now slowly release both hands. Push yourself to downward dog. This is a counter counter pose for your back bend. Slowly look in front of the mat, bring your right leg in front of the mat. Left leg, sh left leg should be short side of the mat, 45 degrees and we are coming to warrior two. Inhale here, windmill your left hand in the back of the mat and come to warrior two. And now make sure, bring your torso on a long side of the mat first before go going further. Your right leg should be at 90 degree. Look toward the right index finger and take four cycle of breath here. Feel that length. If this is too hard, go against the wall. And you can do the warrior two against the wall. Keep breathing. Now take your right hand on the right thigh side angle left hand to the sky first left hand to the sky so may feel that left side body is lengthening and then bring your left hand near your left ear and take three cycle of breath here Slowly come back to warrior two. Take your left hand on the left thigh, right hand to the sky. Exalted warrior, peaceful warrior. You can bind your left hand toward the right side if you want to. Otherwise you can stay right here. You can look up or look down, doesn't matter. But if you look up, you get more stretch out of it. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Stay wide. Bring your torso on the <clears throat> long side of the mat and then slowly lean toward the, toward the earth. Come to triangle, trikonasan. You can stay here. Make sure both shoulders are stacked to each other. 
stack on each other. And then if you want, you can keep your hands, left hand to the sky. Otherwise, you can bring it to the left ear and stay right here. Slowly lift that left hand to the sky and bend the right knee and come back to warrior two. Release both hands. Quarter turn your right leg. Inhale, let's come to wide mountain pose. Inhale, circle your hands, lift and breathe. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift and breathe. Exhale, hands on your hip, forward fold. We are going to come to wide leg downward dog. So place both hands on the earth and then slowly walk both hands away from you, coming to wide leg downward dog. Close your eyes, bring your intention here. Feel the spine lengthening. When you're breathing, you make the space on each vertebrae to lengthen, to make space. Slowly look in front of the mat, walk your hands towards you in the center of the mat and slowly bend both knees and come up all the way. Take your left leg to short side of the bed. We are coming to the left side warrior two. Extend both hands out. Look at the left index finger. Make sure your torso, your shoulders are leveled. Your hands are at the shoulder level, not going up, not going down. Keep breathing here. Take your left hand on the left thigh, right hand to the sky. Side angle. When you get ready, take your right, right hand toward the right ear. Stay right there for three breaths here. One more. Slowly come back to center, warrior two. Right hand on the right thigh, left hand to the sky, lift, exalted warrior. Feel the stretch and feel the crunch on your right side. Look up or look down, doesn't matter. You can bind your right hand toward the left side. Keep breathing. One more breath here. Slowly come back to warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Stay wide, then slowly lean to a left hand toward the left ankle or wherever it reaches or shin or the thigh, wherever it reaches. Come to triangle, trikonasan. Look toward the right, in, right fingers if you can. And if you want, you can bring the right hand next to your right ear. Concentrate on your breathing. Focus on your stretch. Focus on your intention. Bend the left knee. Come back to center. Warrior Chi. And release. Now we are going to do reverse triangle. So if you have the wall, go against the wall. Otherwise you can stay right here. If you're against the wall, you this is just wall or you can stay right here. And stay Extend both hands, bring your left hand toward the right side, right hand, and then slowly lean toward the, and place the left hand toward the ankle of your right and lift your right hand to the sky. Lift and breathe. Slowly bend the right knee and come back, lift up, extend wide leg. Now quarter turn your right leg, left to toe pointing toward the short side of the mat. You're looking toward the left side. And now take your right hand toward the right side, left side, and then slowly lean toward, right hand goes to the ankle of your left, and left hand goes to the sky. It's very hard, it's not easy. If you have a wall, that's easy to do, but that's okay, we'll manage. Take, breathe, two more breaths here. Balance it out, guys. Connect with both feet. 
Now slowly take your right hand to the windmill toward the right side and release. Heel toe, heel toe. Come in front of the mat. Inhale, circle your hand, lift up, breathe up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Send both legs back. Plank pose. Either modify plank pose or release the knee. Come all the way down. Now let's come to spin pose. So what we're going to do, forearm on the earth. Bring your forehead to the earth also. Ten toes touching the earth and slowly inhale and lift yourself up with your shoulders and heart. You're lifting with the, and using a core muscle. Come to spin pose. You're going to bend your right knee. Look toward the right side. And release. When you're ready, you're going to bend the left knee. Look toward the left side. And release. Now slowly, let's come to crocodile one more time. Toes out, heels in. Place your hand under your chin. And stay here, just like kids watching TV on their belly. And stay here and close your eyes. Take three cycle of breath here. Keep breathing. Slowly release everything. We are going to come to locust pose. So bring both hands next to your hip on the side. Now you have option to just lift the front body or you have, op you have advanced version lifting everything up. Inhale, slowly lift your heart. Lift your legs if you're possible and then lift your hands and look in front of the man. Bring some smile on your face. Bring your intention, close your eyes and see where you feel the stretch. If you feel any tightness, muscles ache or something, breathe and release that muscle pain or whatever you feel at this time. And if you enjoy, just close your eyes and see where, enjoy this stretch here. And slowly release and wind shall bend your knees and wind, wind shall wipe your feet. Next, we are coming to board pose. This is optional. Not everybody should do or everybody want to do it or everybody can do it. So I'll give you a modification for, for the board, board pose. So what you're going to do, bend both knees. You can stay right here and hold, and hold your ankle like, like here. This is level one. Or you can just bend your knee and stay there. Level two, lift, lift your upper part, uh, lift your back body and really leave the front body as it is. And whoever have a, courage or whoever wants to do and whoever did before lift everything up like a bow pose keep breathing in and then when you're ready take the uh, try to take your legs further away so you open your hip you open your shoulder blade high and your back bending here too keep breathing while this is harder pose so you don't have to do you can always come down. Otherwise, stay here for one more breath here. And then slowly release. First, release your front body. 
Bring both knees, bring both heels closer to your hip. Release your hands and release your feet. Crocodile, rest it out for a couple of breaths here before we move. Slowly push yourself, come to standing pose. We are going to do today pranayam is a joy of breath. So that is a standing pranayama. And let's everybody stand in front of the mat at the edge of the mat. And what joy or uh, breath of joy does, increase your awareness of capacity of exhalation, energize yourself and bring your mood change it will change your mood you feel more happy you might feel more energetic after that so let me close your eyes hands on the side take a few breaths here before i instruct how to do breath of joy this is one of my favorite pranayama Come back to open your eyes. Let me instruct you. What you're going to do, you're going to inhale three times and when you exhale, you're going to forward fall. So inhale, you're bending the knee. Inhale, you're opening and not bending. Inhale, you're bending up. Exhale, all the way back like that. So let's start doing it. Inhale, bend your knees and extend your hand in front of you. Inhale, Open your head. Inhale, bend knee and lift up. Exhale and go back. Inhale, bend knee in front. Inhale, up. Inhale, bend. Exhale. Let's do three more on your own. Inhale, bend knee in front. Inhale, up. Inhale, bend. Exhale. Inhale, bend knee in front. Inhale up, inhale bend, exhale. Inhale bend knee in front, inhale up, inhale bend, exhale. Slowly come back to center, close your eyes. See the energy flowing through, scan that body. See if you have more energy. See if your mood change. Your heart rates are up. Slower your heart rate with your breath. Slower your breath here. Now slowly come, come down, seated pose. <clears throat> Now take, bring both feet in front of you and lift yourself up all the way. Hug your knees to the chest and lift up. Now send right leg in the back, left and inner thigh of your right. Stay right here and twist toward the left side. Feel that twist here. Inhale, come back to center. Twist toward the right side. Come back to center. Let's change the leg position. So take your right leg in front, left leg in the back, right, right sole of a foot, inner thigh of your left. Inhale, lift yourself up. Place both hands to the right side and twist toward the right side. Inhale, come back to center. Twist this to the other side. And come back. Let's place both feet mid distance apart. Knees pointing up. Place your hand behind next to your hip. And windshield wipe your feet. 
If your knees goes to the right, look toward the left. Do a couple of them with your own breath. Come back to center. Let's extend both legs in front of you and shake it off. Then we'll come to the twist. Then we'll come to the came out pose or ustasan. Take your right knee toward the chest. Keep the left leg as it is. Breathe here, lift up. Hug your right knee with your left hand and twist toward the right side, right hand toward the right hip. Gaze toward the right side. Keep breathing here. If you want more challenge, you can bring, bring that right hand inside and twist and hold both hands in the back. Or you can stay wherever you want to. Listen to your body. Be kind. Slowly come back to center and release. Shake both feet. Shake it out. Take your left knee to the left chest. Hug it, lift it up, breathe. Hold the left knee with the right hand, twist toward the left side. Or if you need the bind, you can do a bind here too and stay here. Keep the right leg flex, breathe in here. Slowly come back to center. Butterfly your feet and shake it off. <coughs> let's come to let's come to kneeling for I mean coming to the hero pose. Sit hands on your knees. Lift yourself up. I'm going to go sideways. Exhale and sit on your heels. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit on your hips. Inhale, lift up here. Place your hand behind on your hip. Bend your spine to the back, but you're going to use your shoulder and your head to come down, come to the back. This is a level one, you can stay right here. Some of you can slide both hands toward the knee if you want. And some of you can come all the way to the ankle. If it is in your practice, but make sure you're using a core control to lift a um, limb into the back. Look toward the back, but make sure you're not leaning. You're not going all the way, you're just taking your Shoulder back, not your head. Inhale, slowly come back. And if you're all the way down, bring your hands behind <coughs> your thigh, your hips, and stay here and slowly come down. Since we did the <coughs> camel pose, we need to do the sasang pose or rabbit pose. So let's bring, place your hand, your thumb on your ankle and your palm facing toward the sky. Inhale here, chin to the chest and slowly roll yourself and bring your crown of the head toward the earth and lift yourself up. Let the blood flow to your brain. Okay. Energize your brain cells. Slowly roll your head. Bring your forehead to the earth, chin to the chest, and slide yourself. And then slowly lift yourself up. And release. Let's separate your knee, bring big toe together. Let's come to child pose and relax here before we move further. Mm. 
slowly lift yourself up. Let's come on our back now. Come in front of the mat. Bring both feet in the front. Come to the board pose. Or you can just come down as however you feel, however you're, you're able to. Otherwise, some of you can lift, lift both legs up and use the core muscle and come down all the way. Release one vertebrae at a time. And when you come all the way down, hug your knees, massage your back here. Release all the tension here. Now we're going to do fish pose. If you guys don't understand, just watch me what we are going to do. Fish pose means we are going to lift our heart up. Our crown of the head will be staying on the earth. And let's place everyone, your hand under your hip. Extend both legs in front of you. And now with with your elbow, lift yourself up just like that. Shoulder up. Then, then lean, bring your head all the way toward the earth. And if your head doesn't reach to the earth, take a pillow or take a blanket and place it under, uh, place the blanket under and then release your fore, uh, re release the crown of the head. This is very good. Uh, asan for opening your thyroid gland. <laughs> your back bending here. Very good to open the heart, open the shoulders, the blood flow to your brain. It's rushing toward your brain. Now slowly lift yourself up first, your head up and then release your shoulder. Bend both knees, separate your feet, mid distance apart, bring both knees together and relax here. Now it's a counter pose, it's a shoulder stand. But since I'm not in person, I don't think I, I am going to instruct you. But whoever know what to do with the shoulder stand, Feel free to go ahead and do it. Otherwise, rest of them stay here and I'm just going to show shoulder stain, but I'm not sure, I don't want other students who never took my class or who never got taught by me or who know who to do shoulder stain, please do on your own. Otherwise, I'm just going to show a little bit. Otherwise, the rest of them stay there. So usually I will go, I'm going to rock myself and take my both legs up, place my hand on my, bring my chin to the chest and place my hand on my, my waist and lift up. This is called shoulder stand. This is like counter, counter pose of the fish pose. Stay right here. If somebody's up there, otherwise now you can come down if you want. You, what you're going to do, you're going to come down one vertebrae at a time with the core control and then slowly come down. Butterfly your feet and stay there. Close your eyes. Just later on, on the comment, just let me know who did the shoulder stand. Just for curiosity, nothing. Now, let's do the twist and then bridge pose, those two last pose of the day. So extend your left, left leg, hug your right knee to the chest. When you're ready, Take the right knee toward the left side. <laughs> Both shoulders are connected to the earth. If you can look toward the right side, please do. Otherwise you can look wherever you feel like on the center or close your eyes and stay right here. This is a good flexibility of your spine. 
your spine is getting really wrinkling out. Toxic waste is releasing here. All the organs are getting a massage when you do the twist. One more breath in and out. Bring your intention with your stretch. Observe your body, how you feel. Slowly roll back. Hug both knees to the chest. Massage your back with rocking your back against the earth. Now extend the right leg. Hug your left knee to the chest. When you're ready, take the right, left knee to the right side and look toward the left side if possible. Otherwise, stay here. Take few breaths. Slowly roll back. <coughs> Let's place a feet hip, uh, hip distance. Place your hand next to your hip. Chin slightly toward the chest. We are coming to bridge. Setu Bandhasan. Inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your hip. Lift one vertebrae at a time. Make sure your knees are in one place, not flaring out. Your knees pointing up, your toes pointing in front. Your chin is slightly toward the chest. When you inhale, you're lengthening your spine. When you exhale, you're length, lifting your bridge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift to the fullest. Next, inhale here. Exhale and come down one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees to the chest, rock it out or circle your knee and then get ready for last Savasana, relaxing pose. If you need to wear a socks, if you need to wear a sweater, please do, otherwise, Come down, extend both legs. Let your feet fall naturally. Hands away from your body, palm facing to the sky. And just close your eyes. Connect your body with your breath, with your mind. Let your body melt in the earth. Let the earth take care of you here.